Okay, here's a quick little update. Uh, I know it's been a while. I've been trying to to get back to this, but it's just been super, super swamped with work and projects around the house. So this has kind of took a back seat for a minute. Uh, we're going on four months now. Four months with zero utility, power utility coming in. We still have gas connected, um, but we don't have any PG&E whatsoever. Well, for us in California, it's PG&E, uh, power, gas, and electric. Uh, so what I've been doing in the meantime is um, I got my batteries, these two batteries here. Uh, they were sitting temporarily right here with wires just running all over the place. Um, so I did get those all wired in. Um, so they're sitting over here now tucked away. I've got a couple more that I'm going to be getting. So these will probably be turned around the other way and kind of stack like that. We'll see how that works. But uh, yeah, so everything's on. See if I can see my display. There's my displays down there. Um, so they're in there, they're all wired up. Uh, I did get these cables pretty much cleaned up, but when I was doing this wiring up here, I was moving them all around, so I'm gonna clean them up again. I know I said in the last video, I've got a piece that's gonna go across here and cover up all the top cables. Um, and then I've got a, another piece that I've already started working on that's gonna go right across the bottom here, big channel. It's gonna cover all that up and just make it look pretty. Um, so what I, the difference, what I've done differently now is I've got all 30 of my solar panels up on the roof and I'll show you a picture in a minute. Uh, they're all working and uh, we're producing some pretty good electricity. Our batteries right now are at about 99%. We're pulling in 3.3 kilowatts uh, between all of them. I think it's throttled back a little bit because we were actually at 4.9 kilowatts a couple, about a couple hours ago. But since we're about 100% charged on our batteries, uh, it's idled back a little bit and um, we had the washing machine and dryer going the uh, the wife was washing all the school uh, clothes for the kids so that she's been washing probably about five I think about five loads right now um, so it was charging while running that as well so we're doing great the systems running awesomely uh, what I've done differently is I've added in these EMP shields as you can see right there and then over here in the panel, another EMP shield. So what these apparently are supposed to do, um, I've done a lot of research, a lot of hours uh, looking these up, watching a bunch of their uh, informational videos that they've had when they did um, uh, some online, um, oh, the chat thing online, I forget now, I can't remember what it was, what the kids were doing, Zoom. Zoom uh, meetings with a bunch of different uh, professionals and they were going over everything. So, uh, in the event of an EMP or a solar flare, um, this unit here will protect all my batteries since they have a BMP in them, little computer deal. These are supposed to protect, this one's supposed to protect all the batteries. This one here with the two lights on it is supposed to protect these two machines so that nothing happens to those. This machine, or this one here with the two lights on it is supposed to protect these two. Then when we get over here to this side, this one is supposed to protect the whole panel. So for what I was told, um, is if an EMP hits, this one for the whole house, anything that's plugged into any plug in the house will be protected. Um, so from, and I've had multiple conversations over the telephone and email with these folks, really good people, um, fast delivery, solid product. Um, I've got another video that I started making on these when I did an unboxing put together very well, sealed really well, um, and I've just had excellent customer service. So um, apparently if you had a cell phone that was plugged in to an outlet or anything that's you know USB that's plugged into an outlet somewhere uh, and you had a cell phone that was not plugged in, the cell phone that's not plugged in could be damaged. The one that is plugged in uh, would survive through everything. But if you do a lot of, that's just, that's just an example, but you know, if you do look into research of cell phones, they're supposed to be protected to where, you know, an EMP wouldn't damage it. It would turn off, maybe turn back on. I've followed all of that, but I just use that as a simple idea, scenario. Um, so uh, I don't want to hear everybody saying, well, cell phones are protected. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so what I've done different to the system right now is added in these EMP protectors. Uh, got these batteries moved over. Got the last of my panels up on the roof. Um, so they're all working. Uh, I've already started to rewire. I'm going to clean it up. All these wires up here, these are just the solar uh, 
coming in from the solar panels, which are on the combine boxes right here, these little combine, I've got two up on the roof and I was gonna actually move these two because I might get two more machines and put one machine here and one machine there for a total of six. I uh, don't really need it because the electricity that's coming off of these machines, it's being converted, has so far been way more than I even need. So um, these machines never go above 50, was it 56%? I think it was at the highest. Um, and that's not very often. So I think what I'm going to do for the time being is probably get two more of these batteries here because these things are awesome. Um, these are the, the uh, 12 volt batteries here. So two together make 48. These are actual 48 volt batteries. These things weigh about 200 pounds each. Uh, really nice caster wheels. Um, excellent batteries. Um, so uh, the next thing that I'm working on is I've started to rewire all these wires up at the top, but I wanted to wait because I had the EMP shields coming. I wanted to wait until I know I've got everything where it's supposed to be because I've rewired this system about several times. I started off with one machine, then knew I needed two, bought two, and they were wired in for two and figured that I wasn't going to get through it with just two so then I had to add these two in and so I had to rewire all of this again and move things around and I'm just tired of doing it over and over and over and over again so I figure at this point the last last thing I'm going to do is get all these cleaned up that shelf I want to take the shelf away uh, and then um, clean all that up and then get the wires all run and stuff but that'll be the final final product um, and these are just sitting here for right now they're just this is coming off of the fuse box or the breaker panel I should say um, but these are all going to be run nice and clean. Um, I want to get back to these as well. And these guys, it's, it's just, you know, I, I don't want to keep doing it again and again and again. So I figure I'll wait till everything's 100% the way I want it. And then I'll, you know, finish off the wiring um, and then get my little covers here and up there. And then everything will be nice. Uh, I've started cleaning up the garage a little bit more. And, um, I threw a bunch away, still got a lot to go, but, but it's getting there. I've got so much more room here now than I didn't have earlier, um, but I've got to go through everything and, and toss it out. So hopefully, uh, eventually I'll be able to get that drywall up over there, clean it all up. I'm going to redo all this up here, make it nice and clean and paint it, get some drywall over there and stuff. Uh, I got the doors I got to build for this, but I got to go through all this stuff first. This is just, you know, all my solar stuff is here. Then I've got equipment over here. I got fasteners there we got electrical here so i got to go through everything uh anyhow so that's where we're at um as you can see right now we're making uh 3.2 3.2 kilowatts and batteries are just about full and uh everything's everything's running great it's running the way that uh it's running the way it's supposed to be so you can see there we've got no utility whatsoever coming in it's all battery and if you look over here Here's our utility right here. It's all capped off, so there's nothing physically attached. So you've got your solar coming in. Uh, this is the two to the far left. This is the two to the far right. Um, this is the EMP shield that comes in. That's got to be wired in. And, um, you know, eventually I'll get this all cleaned up. You know, it's just, a, like I said, got to wait until I get everything the way I want it, and then we'll be A-OK. -okay. So that's my little update video. Um, I will be doing another video soon just on the EMP shields and how you wire them in. It's super, super, super easy. I figure, you know, if you can do this, you could do that easy. And even if you can't do this, you could do that easy. <laughs> it's super easy, easy to do. Uh, so I've got a video coming just on those up there. Um, and then uh, I'll do another video on my final when this is all cleaned up and nice and cool looking. And then maybe we'll do a video maybe about a year, maybe a year into it or so. Because um, I'm approaching six months. So maybe we'll see what happens after a year. Um, if it keeps working the way it is, everything's going to be great. The one thing I did notice is um, we've got LED all throughout the house. And I've got this LED shop light right up here as well. And, uh, you know, when the big things kick on, like we've got a freezer that's running constantly and we've got a refrigerator inside the house and then you know stuff like that but I've noticed that sometimes the lights will like dim out a little bit and come right back on it hasn't been anything that's bothered anything else um, 
And I've checked and checked and checked and I've called Grow Watt and I've talked to Signature Solar and I've talked to so many other people and uh, I've checked everything that, that I know what to check. I'm a general contractor, so I'm used to working with electricity. Um, so I've checked for loose connections and anything I can think of. And I've just heard that these particular machines, um, they're not the highest, you know, the best machines in the world, but they are pretty God darn good. I got to tell you that. Um, but... Um, they're not the, you know, you could pay a lot more money and get, get a much better quality product. But I have to say, I am 110% satisfied with these machines. I've had zero complications other than the lights just kind of doing that little dim deal. But I've heard that these machines um, tend to kind of not work very well. Well, I shouldn't say very well because they're working perfectly fine with that exception. Uh, but they tend to kind of flicker LED lights and I guess LED lights are a little more uh, touchy to um, changes in voltage so um, that's the one thing that just happens every so often it's not anything major it's not like they go really dim they just it's a little just a little something you just kind of catch it with your eye uh, the other problem that I've noticed I just thought about that is when in these machines where your connections are at I don't have these covers off right now so I can't show you but where your solar comes in and then where your power comes in and your power goes out. I've had an issue with this particular machine with the screws the, where the terminals are when you put your wires in and tighten them down. Um, they want it to be, Growatt wants you to have a certain torque on them. But I've found that every, uh, this one here stripped out and I couldn't get it really tight again. It took me a long time. I had to re-thread it uh, to get it to work again. The power side, I did have a problem with that one, I couldn't get it fixed whatsoever. So I had to take the cover off, which is a couple screws here, a couple screws there. The whole cover comes right off. And then I just traced the power line back and then I just cut the line and I hardwired in and then did a, a shrink wrapper over everything. So that one's hardwired in um, simply because that terminal was no longer functioning. It wasn't working. I could not get it tightened. I was here for hours. So that's the one thing that I've noticed. I wish that they could do a little bit better on those so that as you start to torque them down, you don't start to get to the point where you're afraid that you're going to mess them up because once it's shot, it's shot. But other than that, these machines have been great. I love them. Zero problems. Zero. Um, and they're just going to town. They're just, they cover everything. We've got the little ninja cooker going. We've got the you know the the refrigerators going we've got all the lights on the computers everything and they just keep on running so i have to say i'm happy i'm satisfied and um, we'll see you on the next video if you have any questions comments concerns anything please ask away um, you know this is my first time dealing with a large solar system like that this is 48 volt system um, I was playing around with the Harbor Freight ones, which are the little 12 volt deal for quite a while. I knew that I could do this, but I never really got around to it. And when I had the opportunity, I just jumped on it. Um, and so there was a, a little bit of a, of a learning curve um, because there was a lot of people out there that didn't want to really kind of give me advice. I guess they thought I was going to hold them to what they say. Um, so that's the reasoning behind this, these videos is that I wanted to share my experiences with anybody out there that might be into these grow watts because i figure you know we we need to all work together and i love sharing information and helping other people so if there's somebody out there that's trying to do this as well you know you know i'd like to you know help if i can if you have any questions or anything i can tell you the mistakes i made and ran into and and uh you know hopefully we get more people on board and and you know knowledge is power and you know uh sharing is caring i guess they say um, I like to pay it forward and help other people. So um, this system's working perfectly for me. It may not be suitable for you. It may be too big for you. It may be too small for you. I don't know. I've seen some other ones that, that blow my mind away where this gentleman's got a farm and runs the whole farm off of solar and you go into his solar room and it's got to be at least a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. It's, it's beautiful. It looks like a, like in Star Trek, it looks like one of the, one of their rooms um really nice setup you know and mine will be nice once once i get all this down here fixed and clean all that up and you know it's all painted back here i think everything will look really really cool get those pieces down there um but again it's working i'm happy um and uh, i guess that'll be the end of this video and i'll check back in with the emp uh video or if, if you just have any questions right now about those you can let me know and and uh 
and we'll see you on the next one. All right, thanks.